guys, this is the Daily Dynamite. And before I begin this review of the Binding of Isaac, I must warn you, there will be no such thing as swearing in this video since this is for an English assignment made for yeah, the whole class. So uh, yeah. So if you are a regular viewer who likes to hear me swear, then you can eat a big fat co Today we are talking the Binding of Isaac, a indie flash game that took steam by storm for its awesome gameplay and cheap price. The game itself had been in development for around a year until it finally got released the 28th of September 2011. And around 8 months later spawned a DLC which made the game even harder. The game itself is created by Florian and Edmund Macmillan. Edmund himself is known for making games such as Gish, Ether, Time for Something and his most popular game Super Meat Boy. Now that we've got that covered, let's go into the story. The story itself is based loosely around a story from the Bible, better known as Abraham and Isaac, where, as you may know, Abraham is forced to kill Isaac to prove his love to God. It's almost the same, but this time the mother has to kill Isaac. Luckily, Isaac hears this, finds a trapdoor hidden under his rock in his room, jumps in it, and sees what happens. And this is where our story begins. The main gameplay is running around these basements and sometimes encounter monsters. And how do you kill these you may ask? You don't have any guns or anything to defend you, you're just a poor defenseless kid, right? Well, not quite. Because as many young children, your only weapon and defense is crying. Yes, that's right. Hitting your enemies repeatedly with teardrops will eventually make them explode into gore and blood. Yay! There's a giant variation of items you can pick up to make your tears stronger, get yourself spotties and help you boost overall power-ups. The coins you use to buy items with, the keys is to open doors and chests, and bombs are for blowing up enemies, rocks and finding the hidden rooms. The very best thing about this game is that every playthrough is never the same. So let's just say I died here and this is to demonstrate and not because I screwed up. <laughs> Then you will start a whole new game. No mercy, you don't get to keep your items, bombs, keys, nothing. You start all over. And that is why we call this game a rough like. Which means that if you die, you have to start all over. But it doesn't matter because now you are dead and respawned. You have whole new levels to explore. And that's the great thing about this game. No matter how many times you play this game or how good you become at playing it, you will never ever be able to predict what's ahead. So after you escape your mother by jumping through the trapdoor, your mission is very simple. You need to kill mother. And yeah, it sounds evil, but she tried to kill you too. And one of you is going down. And at the beginning, mostly you. At one point when you're good enough, you will eventually encounter mom. And she's freaking huge. Yo mama so fat she is the entire last boss room. Booyah! As said before, this game is based a lot around the Bible. You can get Bible items and satanic items. As far as the effects go, it's absolutely amazing. It's it's this cartoony style that makes it all blend together and the animations in this game is looking absolutely amazing. This game may remind you a lot of many other games, but if you have to co compare this to something that's really a lot like this, then it will probably be the old Legend of Zelda games, where you also crawl around in dungeons, also collect keys, and also have to kill the final boss for you to get the prize. And move on. In conclusion, I think that this game is absolutely astonishing, with its random generated thingies, with all the items you can collect, all the bosses and enemies you can encounter, and the many many possible endings there are to this game, all the achievements which unlocks more items, and last but not least, all the gameplay and time you can put into this game is absolutely amazing. Normally I would give this game 10 out of 10, but I'm only gonna give it 9 out of 10 because this game is still very buggy. And the first 5 hours you're gonna play this, you wanna throw your keyboard against the wall or stuff it up someone's grandma. But don't you worry your black little heart because this has happened to all of us. The 
Binding of Isaac, a indie rough like dungeon crawler. Once you start playing, you're gonna have a hard time putting this masterpiece down. 9 out of 10.